Hey, Chris Aldane, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro here, hanging out with the Wired to Fish Boys. We're out here on Kentucky Lake, and uh, we're fishing this grass line. The boat's in about four feet of water. The grass is in about two feet of water. And I'm fishing this KVD Swim and Shiner by Strike King, and I'm fishing a little bit differently than you would think. You know, a lot of guys fish this bait on an uh, Alabama rig or a, or a jig head, a swim bait jig head, something like that. And I like fishing on like just an old school EWG style hook. Um, it's just a weighted belly hook and th this one here, this is just a four out, a nice small one and this is the five inch swim and shiner and I got a good tip for you guys, you know, if you're, if you're fishing a swim bait and it's not the typical hollow belly style, um, just grab your pair of scissors and right here in the belly of, of that, that swim and shiner, just kind of slit the belly like so and you're almost turning it into a hollow belly uh, swim bait. And what that does is it helps with that EWG style hook. When you go to rig it, there's just a little bit less plastic there um, for that hook to penetrate through and into the fish's mouth. So uh, again, I just, I just put a nice little uh, slit in the belly there and you can open it up almost like a fluke and uh, just go ahead and grab that EWG style hook and, uh, and just rig it like so. Um, you, know, you know, pull the weight past, past the nose there and, and just rig it uh, you know, like you normally would. Uh, a regular hollow belly and and with that hollowed you know the hollowed belly pretty much is what you just did with the with the, the scissors um, again there's just less plastic there to go through and it makes setting the hook a lot easier so and I'm throwing it on a 40 pound braided line and a, like a jig type rod and, and that should be the perfect setup right there